the weather has been awfully gloomy in Southern California lately, but today we've escaped the confines of the apartment, and just as we did so, the clouds parted, and the sun is shining on Lake Hollywood. We're back in Los Angeles, California. Most people don't even know that there is a Lake Hollywood, but come on. Even celebrities gotta get their drinking water somewhere. Now, Lake Hollywood is cool. Well, pretty cool, but we're not up here today for Lake Hollywood. The reason we've left the comfort and relative safety of our apartment to come out here to the Hollywood Hills is to visit Lake Hollywood Park. And you wanna know the reason why? I'll give you a little hint. Lake Hollywood Park has the best view of the Hollywood sign. The last time that we took a look at the Hollywood sign on this channel, I came up Beechwood Canyon like a tourist, mostly because I wanted to see the gates to the entrance to Hollywood Land, which is what the sign was built for. Because those gates are what they base the gates to Tower of Terror in Florida off of. And if you go up Beechwood Canyon, you can't barely see the Hollywood sign at all. You have to see it from way down. You hike up closer, but you can't get any closer. I told Allie at the time that we would get a better look at the sign one day. And what better look at the sign than this? Look at it down there, Lake Hollywood Park. And my car is parked somewhere over there. Look at this, it's a weekday and they're still parking. Just don't try to come up here on a weekend. Actually, don't try to go anywhere in LA on a weekend because there won't be any parking. Now would you look at the size of that sign? It looks so tiny. It doesn't look tiny, you look tiny. Look at the... Okay, I guess it does look a little tiny. But those letters are actually 50 feet tall. And most of them are 33 feet wide. Except the W, I think that one's 39 feet wide. 50 feet tall? That's like 10 of me. There you have it, the Hollywood sign is 10 alleys tall. Oh my gosh, Johnny Cash was up here. And somebody named Eat My, oh, <laughs> never mind. Look at that Hollywood sign right there. It's the ultimate LA fun pick. Like I mentioned before, originally this thing was built as an advertisement to a housing development up here. Hollywood land. But ever since evil actor Neville Sinclair turned out to be a Hollywood spy and crashed the rocket pack into the last four letters, it simply said Hollywood. Okay, fine. That's actually the plot line to the movie The Rocketeer. But the real story is just so much more boring. They used it to sell houses, and they sold all the houses, then they didn't use it, then it just sat there rotting away. Then people wanted to save the sign, but they didn't want to save the land part, blah, blah, blah. I like the Neville Sinclair version better. It has Jennifer Connelly in it. Okay, and now we can no longer see the Hollywood sign because we're going to try to hike up behind the Hollywood sign. Huh? Look at that. The Homeowners Association is still called Hollywood Land. I've always known that you can hike up behind the Hollywood sign, but I've never done it. There's a ton of you can't get to the Hollywood sign this way signs because people up here obviously hate tourists and with these little tiny narrow streets probably really sick of people parking up here. And because of repeated vandalism over the years, nobody is allowed to walk up to the front of the Hollywood sign. They've changed it to Hollyweed a couple of times. People have lit the letter L on fire before. How come? Because people are animals, Allie. Anyway, so that's about the closest you can get to the front of the Hollywood sign, but we're having nice weather. I've never done this before, so why not? Let's hike up this totally legit looking path behind these rich people's houses. They literally do everything in the world to freak you out and make you think you're not allowed to be back here at all. But I have it on very good authority as long as you stay on the trail and don't go peeping into Ferris Bueller's buddy's house down there that you're gonna be okay. Just don't smoke. No smoking up here. Ooh, there's a lot of weird spots where you really feel like you're trespassing. Look at this, there's one spot where they even keep the path hidden behind a wall just so you think it ends. Look at that. That's weird. That's really weird. They've got little stars etched into the concrete up here. Walk of Fame part D. That's a pretty good view right there. But this, this might be even better. Look at that, there's downtown LA right down there. And Smokey the Bear. Look at that alley. Wow. Ooh. Now I'm getting all hot and sweaty, and there's still so much more to go. I don't know if you can see all the switchbacks. Oh, what a fun one. You okay in the shoes? You sure? Mm-hmm. Okay, you can wait for me by the side of the road if you want. All right. Just remember, there's a first time for everything, but there's also a last. That's the good news. Probably never do this again. That's weird. Look at this little concrete puddle right here and the sign someone put right there. Someone's making sure Bambi can get a drink. What are you doing? Getting the rocks out. Oh, getting the rocks out. Check that out, downtown LA over here, but look at that. There's the Griffith Observatory. Other than my knees being a little sore, I'm actually okay with this. Except for the fact that I have to pee really bad. And I would just pee off the side of this cliff here, but there's too many people coming up this trail. And what makes it worse is there's water everywhere because it's been raining. I need to make a little rain myself. Gotta pay the water bill. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, that's crazy up here. Jeez, look at this. 
What the heck is going on right here? What is this, World War One? Okay, look at the way this road switches back on itself. Ugh. Ah. Oh, sure, whoever they are, they get to bring their cars up here. Oh, we work at the antenna. We get to use cars. Ugh. Okay, that's not nice. I shouldn't be like that. I shouldn't have that kind of attitude. Car driving jerks. Okay, that's wrong. I, I gotta stop. Jealousy is the ugliest form of ugliness. With full honesty, I am jealous of those cars. We were just on that road, now we gotta go up on that road, then we're gonna be up on that road. Ah. Ooh, look how far we've come. That's cool. There's a sign over there. Feels a little like we're going away from it to get to it. Uh, we keep running into Germans and Australians up here. Crazy. I highly doubt that anyone from LA is up here though because nobody walks in LA. Okay, so we've come up all this. There's the Hollywood sign right there. I don't know if you can see it. There's the Hollywood sign. And our road leads us back up here to look down on it from behind. Sorry about your shoes. I should have told you you'd be climbing a mountain today. But I didn't know. At least I didn't wear makeup. Oh my gosh. I think we're about to get a view of the valley. Well, what do you know about that? Look at this. The San Fernando Valley. You will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. Griffith Park down there, Forest Lawn, Walt Disney's barn is down there. There's Disney Studios right down here. Right there's ABC, Burbank, Cool Beans. Johnny Carson would have loved this view. That almost makes me dizzy looking out there. Also almost makes me Disney looking at this. Did I say Disney or Dizzy? I can't talk. It doesn't matter. You are a Disney princess, so it totally counts. Uh-oh, Allie. The safety of the trail may be compromised. The safety rail may be compromised. That's freaking crazy. That's Disney down there. Right down there, which means Warner Brothers is right over the hump of the hill right there. Wild. Safety not guaranteed. Oh, this also means we should almost be there. That's so crazy. On this side, I can see Hollywood, downtown LA, and then right over here, I can see the whole valley. Not much farther. Not much farther. This was a mistake. This was a mistake. Oh, that's very high up. We're very high up. We must almost be there. There's not that much mountain left. I keep on asking myself, how much more mountain can there be? And the answer keeps being more, more mountain. We have to almost be there because that's the antenna behind the Hollywood sign and we're behind it. So there's hope, hope. Okay, we have to be nearing the end because here's this big curve in the road and there's some sort of plaque. <sighs> Cahuenga Peak was added to Griffith Park with the help and support of donors worldwide. Thank you to everyone, blah, blah. Okay, okay. Here goes nothing. Oh my gosh, Allie, we did it. We did it. Holy crap, or should I say, holy crap. Look at the size of that sign. See, even up here, they don't want you messing with the sign. They got cameras and everything up here and this big old fence, but look at that. I get this all the time when I travel, that I go somewhere awesome and people are like, that's right around the corner from my house. Lived here 50 years, never been there. That is me with this sign. I've known it's here my whole life. I've looked at it from the bottom for my whole life. Knew this trail was here my whole life. Never been up here before. Oh, we did something together. We do everything together, weirdo. I love you. Uh, Look at those cameras up there. They do not want you to get close to this bad boy. And that's because over the years, the city of Los Angeles has spent millions and millions of dollars fixing this guy up. Hugh Hefner once had to have a party where celebrities donated money to keep the old Hollywood sign up. And this is the part where I tell you a little secret about the Hollywood sign. That is not the original Hollywood sign from the 1920s. That original sign was made out of all kinds of makeshift stuff on the back, like telephone poles and old pipes and crap. And by the 70s, it had become so rotten and disgusting that they actually bulldozed the entire thing. For three months, Hollywood had no Hollywood sign. It was the town with no name. You can see down there, to the right, you gotta look very really close. Someone has a vineyard up on those hills. So there is some private property up here, and I don't know if it was this side, one of these hills. If it was that side down there, they say the right side, but I guess that depends what side you're looking at the Hollywood sign from. Well, a whole bunch of the property up here was bought up by Howard Hughes. He was gonna build the swankiest billionaire pad up here for his girlfriend and him so they could party, you know, get their groove on. But then I guess they broke up, so he decided to never do it, and it wasn't until like this century, actually, that they finally sold off the land out of the Hughes Trust. And then a bunch of private individuals had to get together with a bunch of other people and raise a bunch of money to save the view up here so that it wouldn't say house and then Hollywood. So for now, that classic view of the Hollywood sign and this big ugly tower are intact. 
Look at that. The pride of America. Oh, well this is where the trucks were coming from. Dude, how about that crazy view? They really don't want people up here messing with their signs. Security cameras, lights, barbed wire. Although they probably shouldn't have left the one spot where you can hop the fence open with a ladder to climb over the barbed wire. That was probably a little short-sighted. All right, now we're going to the tippy top just to say we did it and then we get to go all the way back down. Another beautiful view of the San Fernando Valley there and then one more little climb up to the flag. Ooh. Oh yeah. Would you look at the size of that view. America. I feel like we're standing on another planet or something. Look at that, like we're astronauts. We've planted the flag on planet Hollywood. Wow, that's amazing. All right, I was gonna do other stuff today. Wasn't expecting to climb up this mountain. Now I think I'm too tired for the other stuff. I think that's about it. Dude, I've been kind of bummed out and depressed lately, you know? Just coming in off the road, had a little bit of the come down. Plus I was sick and tired and I, my neck's been hurting for a couple days, but this, getting out of the house and doing something weird always makes me feel better. That is one big secret in the quest for positivity. Which, by the way, since everyone kept asking, there's no quest for positivity, quest for positivity t-shirts. Live fast, I on spreadshirt.com, patreon.com slash justinscard, all the links down below. They help keep the show on the road. So check out those links, including the Facebook group link down there. And uh, I think that's it. I'm pretty sure now, finally, after all that hiking, we've done our duty. We can go home and sleep well. made it to the end once again. And I have nothing funny to say. Mostly because being up here is actually terrifying and giving me kind of a panic attack. The whole world's starting to move. I am scared of heights. Is that funny? Is that what you came for? To watch me afraid of heights? To watch me cry and have a nervous breakdown? Is that what you came for? They're mean. They're mean, Ellie. They don't like me. They're mean. Hollywood. Top of the world, Mom.